Well, welcome to our YouTube channel. This trip 62 miles long, gravel roads just to get to the turn off into the canyon where we're going. Really neat place, nice place to camp over the weekend. Well, the roads back into the Pine Grove Valley look pretty much like any of the roads that head off into the Wawa Mountains. A lot of juniper trees and brush and stuff in the lower parts. And not much really to look at except Pine Grove is a little different. Look on the left here, you see that big pine tree. There's a ponderosa grove in here that is gigantic. And there's some really pretty scenery in here and a lot of water available. Where do you see the great spots to camp back in here? Really nice. Here's where the valley starts to open up, and the cattle know it, they really like it in here. There's a lot of green because a little stream is running in here all year. And it's a really pretty place to camp, where do you see our campsite in here? Well, here's a campsite. Pretty nice. Pretty level. Nice. All the mines and the old buildings all around it. Make it for a real interesting place to spend a weekend. This is not a mine at it, but it's a place where they store their explosives. Continuing a little farther up the valley here, there's a couple more mine sites up here. Let's go take a look at this other one. I'll tell you about it in a minute when we get to the turn off of it. Okay, let's head on up to the Tasso mine take a look at that.
We were up here two years ago with a friend from down in Yuma, Barry Marchant. These guys all thought this was pretty nice. And this mine up here is pretty unique. The road into it's a little, little rough. And it's a little tough finding a turnaround spot up above here. But to see the old ore chute and the buildings in the mine up above is really worth coming in here. Take a look. There were very few aspen trees up here. Linda spotted them up in the mountains. So look for the white bark. Water's still running in this little creek. Well, here's the last green area on the way out. Pretty nice, though. Some place you really ought to try to see over the weekend. It'd be a great place to camp. And this is also one of the last places you get to see the big trees, too. And then it starts to open up on the way down out of the valley up here. And here's our view of Pine Valley coming up. And then it's a long haul up to 21 and then back into Milford. Well, Linda and I say thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good trip. Come up here and take a look at this yourself.